Welcome to Institute of Quality and Reliability. Hi, this is Heyman. How normal is normal? We will explain concepts and procedure for normal probability plotting in this video. We often ask this question, which is the most appropriate distribution for my data? Normal distribution is one of the most commonly used distributions to fit data. Before we discuss normal probability plotting, let us brush up some basic concepts of normal distribution. We are reproducing some portion of our video on normal distribution here. A normal distribution is defined by a mathematical equation. Probability density function fx for normal distribution is given by fx is equal to 1 upon sigma square root of 2 pi into e to the power minus half x minus mu by sigma square. Observe that the function fx is the height of the normal curve at any point x. This function fx is fully defined if we know what is the mean mu and standard deviation sigma. Mu and sigma are called the parameters of the distribution. Also, observe that at point x is equal to mu, that is mean, the value of fx will be maximum and it will be 1 upon sigma square root of 2 pi. Capital fx is cumulative distribution function that is CDF shown in red for normal distribution and is calculated by integrating small fx that is probability density function fx from minus infinity to the point of interest x. Thus, we need to integrate the PDF to find the probability. Normal distribution is commonly used for process capability calculation and drawing related inferences. However, the validity of such calculation depend on how well the data actually fits normal distribution. We can visually judge whether the histogram looks like a bell curve. This method is subjective and can be supported with normal probability plot. We will illustrate procedure for normal probability plotting in this video. A tube manufacturer performs burst test to measure strength of tubes. These tubes are used to manufacture radiators. Data of randomly selected 10 tubes is collected as shown in the following table. We will illustrate procedure for normal probability plotting of this data. Here are the steps for normal probability plotting. Sort the data in ascending order from smallest to largest. Assign rank j is equal to 1 to n where n is the total number of data points in this case 10. Calculate the cumulative probability of each data point using the following formula j minus 0.5 upon n. Then plot the data of the variable which is the burst pressure in this case versus the cumulative probability as calculated by the above formula on normal probability paper. Let us now perform some basic calculations on Microsoft Excel. Here is the data of burst pressure. First, we have to sort this data in ascending order. So I am just copying and pasting to sort it in ascending order. So I select this and select the sort and filter. So we have sorted from minimum to maximum. So the minimum is 26.8 and maximum is 34.9. Now we add the rank J from 1 to 10 because N is equal to 10 here. Now we calculate the cumulative probability using the formula J minus 0.5 upon N. So equal to j minus 0.5 divided by 10 and 
we have to convert this into percent values because the probability paper requires it in percentage so i am just multiplying this by 100 and we can calculate this for all 10 values friends this is how a typical normal probability paper looks like this one is downloaded from www.webull.com the x-axis of this graph is to be used for the variable and the y-axis of this graph which is marked from 0.1 to 99.9 .9. these are values in percent of cumulative probability on the right side of the graph you will see mu for mean and sigma for standard deviation we have performed the necessary calculations on microsoft excel and now we are ready to perform the probability plotting here is a normal probability plotting paper downloaded from www.bible.com on the x axis we have the burst pressure which we will mark for the values and on the y axis we have the cumulative probability for plotting so the minimum value of burst pressure is 26.8 and the maximum value is 34.9 so I will start with 26.8 on this. So I will use the draw command. So we start with 26 because the minimum value is 26.8. So I will set 26, then 27. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34 and 35. We don't need to mark 36 because the maximum value is 34.9. Let us now plot the first point the burst pressure 26.8 and cumulative probability 5%. We will now start plotting the points. The first point is 26.8 burst pressure and 5%. So 26.8 and 5% will be somewhere here. The second point is 27.8 and 15%. 27.8, 15 15% will be somewhere here third point 27.925 and so on and we will plot all the points after plotting all the points the graph looks like this now for a perfect normal distribution the points will exactly fall on a straight line this is actually probability plot of the cumulative normal distribution and the y scale that is cumulative probability scale the y axis scale has been changed so that the perfect normal distribution will look like a straight line now let us try to fit a straight line visually this is actually done by software but we will try to fit a line visually so that equal number of points are above and below the straight line so i'll just try to insert a straight line so insert straight line so let me try to fit it to the extent that makes sense is this fair i don't know maybe little yeah is that better maybe so this is the straight line that i have fitted and the points are quite close to this straight line so we can say that this data is likely to be a normal distribution. A confirmation test is usually done on a software which is called goodness of fit test. We can also estimate the value of mean mu and standard deviation sigma from this probability plot. To estimate the value of mu first, 
let us draw a vertical perpendicular line from the intersection of the mean value mean the line that represents the mean and the probability plot so it's somewhere here which is i think something looking like 30.6 but let us drop a line i'll just say draw sorry insert illustrations and shapes and line and the value that I will see approximately will be we can increase the thickness of the line so that you can see it clearly yeah we can now see that the mean is approximately equal to 30.6 now we can also calculate the standard deviation for that we have to drop a line from the intersection of the probability plot to the faint line that shows the sigma so it is somewhere here so i'll just draw another line yeah i'm just drawing another line which is somewhere here maybe little to the right yeah and if you read the value on the x-axis it is 27.8 so we have to subtract this 27.8 from 30.6 so I'll just say 30.6, which is the mean and the value that is seen at standard deviation is 27 point, maybe eight, maybe eight. So if I subtract this value from 30.6, I get a value of 2.8 which is an estimate of the standard deviation so I'll just say SD so I can write here on the graph that the SD is approximately equal to maybe here I'll write SD is equal to 2.8 the actual value of uh, standard deviation from the data also can be calculated here which may differ slightly from these values if we want to double check that we can just say mean of these values so equal to average of these values 30.6 yes this is the mean and SD will be equal to equal to SDDV dot dot s we will use the sample standard deviation and select these values and that's equal to 2.59 or let us say 2.6 yeah we got 2.8 from the graph because there are lines and reading errors and plotting errors so this is an approximate value that we see on the graph in addition to normal probability plotting goodness of fit test is usually performed to validate whether the data can be considered normal for the purpose of analysis. Normal probability plotting and goodness of fit tests are usually performed using software. We will explain these in another video later. Let us do a quick recap. We often need to understand which is the right distribution to fit our data. The normal distribution is one of the most commonly used distributions to fit and analyze data in process capability analysis. In this video, we have explained the concepts and procedure for normal probability plotting. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you found it worth watching. Please subscribe to Institute of Quality and Reliability channel if you want to watch more videos on reliability engineering, Six Sigma and statistical quality control. Thank you.